we're here, intro to chem, exam three, number 13. And number 13 reads, uh, which of the following are state functions? It gives us uh, four different choices, and from these four choices, we have to figure out which ones are state functions. So uh, if we want to if we want to get uh, full credit for this, if we want to get the right answer, we, we have to know uh, what a state function is, and then we have to know what these symbols mean. Now I have up here, Q is the heat, W is work, delta E is energy of a system. Well, what is a state function? A state function uh, is a function that is path independent. Now, a state function uh, can be compared to a path function. A path function is path dependent. We'll talk about what the path means in just a second. So, uh, consider this for the path. Let's let's also consider temperature. Um, I I go up to my oven and since I like cheesecake, I'm, I want I want to bake a cheesecake. I'm pretty hungry, so I'm going to have my oven at some initial temperature, maybe uh, 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and then bring it up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, and so. Whenever it gets up there, I start rolling with the cheesecake. Cool. I can measure the initial temperature, and I can measure the final temperature. And I can take the difference. And I would see the change in the temperature. I just subtract these two numbers. But what if I started out still at 75 degrees Fahrenheit, but then while I was gone, my friend came over and he started twisting the knob a bunch, and he just changed the temperature all to crazy different degrees. But he, ultimately, he brought it back to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Right? I would not have been able to tell a difference. I would still have seen what my initial temperature was and what my final temperature was. And I would have subtracted the two. The change in the temperature still would have been the same as my, as my first path. See, the, these are the paths. And you can tell that the paths differ. Down here, my friend changed the temperature a lot. But it doesn't matter. The change in the temperature is the same. So it's path independent. That's for temperature. Therefore, temperature is a state function. All right. Let's consider delta E, the internal energy of the system. Your younger brother comes in and he's got tons of energy in him. Uh, and then you, you tell him to go away because he's really annoying, so you tell him to go spin his energy outside. Now he had a, a really high amount of ener energy in the beginning. After he spins it all outside, he comes back and he's exhausted. He has a low amount of energy. So you can take that difference in energy. You can measure his initial energy and his final energy and take the difference. See here, it compares to the temperature one too. You measure the initial, you measure the final. I like to think of state functions as initial final. It, it doesn't matter what happens in the middle path independent. Just like your younger brother, it doesn't matter how he spent his energy outside, he could have saved the world, for all you know. He's exhausted. All you know is his energy difference. Uh, so this is also path independent. He could have pushed a lawnmower or rolled around on the ground a lot. It doesn't matter. So let's consider heat and work. Okay, you can measure the energy of something and you can measure the temperature of something, but you can't just take a marker and measure the work of it. You have to apply work. You have to uh, transfer work to this, or this thing will have to transfer work to my hand. Same thing for heat. Heat is transferred. So these are, are going to depend on the path. Uh, I, this, is, this is mainly sort of a, a definition, but uh, for the most part, you can, you can put in a little bit of heat and a lot of work, or you can do a variety of these combinations, a lot of heat and a little bit of work. Um, and depending on how much heat and work you transfer, it's still going to bring to the same delta E, for instance. So these are path dependent. It does depend on what you do that will uh, transfer a certain amount of heat to your environment, or will transfer a certain amount of work, depending on what you, depending on your path it's going to change these values. So these are path dependent. So therefore, they're path functions. Okay. 
Finally, that brings us to our final answer. We know that these are the only two state functions. Therefore, it should be number four.